Hey, mind geeks. Did you know that learning a new language could boost your brain power, open up incredible career opportunities, and even improve your health? <music> Studies show that polyglots often outperform monolinguals on memory tests, as juggling multiple languages keeps the brain agile. Research has also shown that language learning delays cognitive decline, reducing the risk of Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. Embracing new languages isn't just a skill, it's a long-term investment in brain health. So stick around till the end and find out why picking up a new language could be one of the most rewarding journeys you ever embark on. Imagine being able to connect with people from entirely different worlds, dive into diverse cultures and broaden your horizons, all by learning a new language. For me, language learning has been nothing short of life-changing. Growing up as a native Greek speaker on a small island, I never imagined the impact that mastering new languages would have. Now fluent in English, French, Spanish and Chinese, and able to understand even more, I've discovered firsthand how language can reshape the mind and open countless doors. Today, I'll take you through how becoming multilingual not only transformed my thinking and perspective, but also had unexpected health and financial benefits. From improving memory and cognitive function to boosting career prospects, the advantages of learning a foreign language might just surprise you. Stay with me till the end, where I'll reveal a personal technique that's kept me motivated through every challenge, turning language learning into an inspiring journey rather than just a task. Types of bilinguals, compound, coordinate and subordinate. Let's start with something fascinating. The three types of bilinguals, which highlight how the timing and context of language learning affect cognitive development. Compound bilinguals learn two or more languages simultaneously, often as children, weaving them together into one linguistic experience. Imagine a child like Gabriella, who grows up speaking English and Spanish from birth, making her equally fluent and comfortable in both. She experiences the world through two lenses that merge seamlessly. Coordinate bilinguals like Gabriella's older brother learn languages in different environments. While he uses Spanish at home, he learns English at school, developing distinct linguistic systems. This allows him to adapt effectively, navigating social situations with specific language tools. Subordinate bilinguals typically learn a second language later in life, often using their native language as a base. Gabriella's parents are a perfect example. They learned English as adults, initially translating from their native Spanish before achieving fluency. But why does this actually matter? Because each type of bilingualism brings unique cognitive benefits. Whether you learned a language young or as an adult, each type shapes how you think, process information and connect with others. Learning languages has been like a full-body workout for my brain. The mental agility required to shift between languages, especially between unrelated ones like Chinese and French, has sharpened my problem-solving skills and enhanced my memory. Studies suggest that bilinguals often have stronger executive functioning, are better at multitasking, and excel in attention-switching tasks. This mental exercise extends beyond languages, improving critical thinking and adaptability in daily life. Perspective and emotion, seeing through new eyes. Language does more than just translate words, it shifts perspectives. Research shows that bilinguals can understand differing viewpoints more easily and even react differently in their second language. When I communicate in English, I often find myself more formal and reserved, while my native Greek brings out a warmer, more passionate side. These shifts reveal how language frames our emotional responses and can influence our personality traits, helping us better connect with diverse people and cultures. A great example of this is when several years ago actress Monica Bellucci was asked why she chose to give birth in Italy rather than France, her longtime country of residence and home of her former husband. She replied that the thought of screaming in any language other than Italian while giving birth was simply unthinkable. This story beautifully illustrates how deeply our native languages are tied to our most intense emotions and experiences. Have you ever noticed a change in perspective or emotion when switching languages? Or maybe you have a story that shows just how powerful language can be. Share your experiences in the comments. Let's get the conversation going. 
I'd love to hear your thoughts. Enhanced cultural understanding. Learning a new language is like stepping into another identity, much like an actor adapting to a role. You don't just mimic the sounds, you embody the cultural cues, body language and social norms tied to that language. Using humour in Greek or Spanish feels entirely different from doing so in Chinese or French. By learning languages, I've developed what I like to call chameleonic skills, adapting effortlessly to new environments and cultural contexts. This adaptability is one of the most enriching aspects of becoming multilingual. Take, for instance, the word for mole in Greek, which translates as olive, whereas in French it's described as a beauty grain. In Greek culture, where the olive tree symbolises resilience, prosperity and even divine blessing, using olive to describe a mole reveals a deep cultural appreciation for this treasured symbol. On the other hand, in French, calling a mole a beauty grain reflects a value placed on elegance and aesthetics. Examples like this reveal how languages are shaped by cultural perceptions and values, and about how cultural perspectives shape language reflecting unique ways of seeing and describing the world. Broadened career and social opportunities. Being multilingual has expanded my professional and social horizons immensely. Fluency in English, French, Spanish and Chinese has allowed me to work with international teams, negotiate across cultures and forge connections in ways that transcend mere language. Beyond the words themselves, understanding different worldviews and values has enriched my personal and professional relationships. In today's globalised job market, the ability to communicate across borders is not just an asset, it's a game changer. Perspective in the second language, rational versus emotional thinking. Research has shown that people often make more rational decisions in their second language, perhaps because they process information with a bit more emotional distance. For example, an argument that might feel emotionally charged in my native Greek might come across as more analytical and manageable when I think it through in French or English. This shift can be invaluable, helping us make balanced decisions by detaching from strong emotions and seeing things from an objective viewpoint. The order of language learning, does it matter? The order in which you learn languages can influence the learning process. Many learners find that studying related languages in succession, such as French, Spanish and Italian, creates a smoother transition, as these languages share similar grammatical structures and vocabulary. Personally, starting with French made learning Spanish much easier due to the shared Latin roots. However, for those who love a challenge, tackling unrelated languages like Japanese and Russian fosters greater cognitive flexibility and diversity. The chemistry of language learning, finding your match. Remember, language learning isn't only about grammar and vocabulary, it's also about personal chemistry. Remember, each language brings its own emotional and cultural resonance, which can enhance or hinder your learning experience. For example, while I excel at picking up languages, I struggled with German. Its sound didn't resonate with me, and the culture's emphasis on structure felt incompatible with my personality. Yet, this doesn't devalue German, it just wasn't my match. Finding a language that resonates with you personally can make the journey feel like a natural, joyful discovery. Increased confidence and communication skills. Mastering a foreign language is a confidence booster. When I first started learning Chinese, I was overwhelmed by its complexity. But as I gradually improved, I felt a new sense of achievement that translated into other areas of my life. Speaking multiple languages also hones your communication skills making you more adept at expressing ideas clearly and adapting your tone for diverse audiences. This heightened self-assurance can have a ripple effect, strengthening your voice in every language you speak. Enhanced memory and focus, staying sharp across languages. Learning languages strengthens your memory and focus by training your brain to remember vocabulary, grammar structures and cultural contexts. This cognitive workout enhances recall and reduces mental fatigue over time. Studies show that polyglots often outperform monolinguals on memory tests, as juggling multiple languages keeps the brain agile. For me, every language learned feels like adding another layer of mental fitness that enriches all aspects of life. Lifelong learning and mental flexibility. Remember, language learning is a marathon, not a sprint. 
It is lifelong pursuit that keeps your mind flexible and open to new challenges. Every language builds on what you've learned before, and this ongoing journey strengthens cognitive abilities as you age. Research has shown that language learning delays cognitive decline, reducing the risk of Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. Embracing new languages isn't just a skill, it's a long-term investment in brain health. But did you know that learning a new language isn't just good for the brain, it's also great for overall health? Studies show that multilingualism can boost cognitive functions, making it easier to focus, solve problems and even multitask. Language learning is like giving your brain a constant workout, strengthening mental agility over time. For example, think of a bilingual person switching between English and French in a conversation. This rapid toggling engages multiple parts of the brain, which helps build pathways that improve memory and mental flexibility. It's like lifting weights for your mind. More importantly, learning a second or third language has been shown to delay the onset of dementia and Alzheimer's disease by years. This is because the process of learning and using different languages helps build cognitive reserve, a kind of mental resilience that protects against cognitive decline as we age. And it doesn't stop there. Bilingual individuals are often better multitaskers, thanks to the mental coordination required to keep languages separate. Imagine preparing a meal while having a conversation in another language. This ability to juggle tasks with ease is just one of the many cognitive perks that come with learning a foreign language. So, whether it's preventing cognitive decline or boosting your ability to manage multiple tasks, learning a language can be a powerful health investment that keeps your mind sharp and flexible throughout life. By now, you might be wondering how to get started on your own language learning journey. Here's a personal technique I'd like to share with you and which you can use to keep going in your language learning journey without feeling discouraged when challenges arise. First, aim for consistency over intensity. Studying for just a few minutes every day can be far more effective than cramming for three hours once a week. Those 15 minutes of daily practice add up, creating a powerful compound effect that leads to steady progress without overwhelming you. But beyond daily study, try to create an immersive experience every now and then. Just as we discussed earlier, speaking a new language can feel like stepping into a role, so setting the right stage is key. Once in a while, dedicate an entire afternoon to full immersion. For example, back when I was learning Mandarin in London, I'd spend Sundays cooking Asian dishes, lighting jasmine incense and studying Mandarin. I'd then reward myself with a Chinese movie, practicing new vocabulary as I watched. This ritual made language learning not just productive, but fun and inspiring. You could try the same approach in any language you're learning. Immerse yourself fully and turn language practice into a cultural experience. This way, learning becomes more than just a skill. It's a journey that enriches and motivates you every step of the way. Luckily, today's technology has made it easier than ever. Apps like Duolingo and Babbel offer a fun and interactive way to learn languages at your own pace while tools like Rosetta Stone and Pimsleur focus on immersive audio-based learning to help you master pronunciation and listening skills. AI is already transforming how we learn languages and is expected to make the process more personalised and efficient. Tools powered by AI can analyse your strengths and weaknesses, creating a learning path tailored just for you, while immersive VR simulations allow you to practise conversation skills with AI-generated native speakers. In the near future, language learning will be more accessible and adaptable than ever, breaking down barriers for everyone to explore new cultures. So, are you thinking of learning a new language? Don't hesitate. It's not just a skill. It's an adventure that could revolutionise your mind, open unexpected doors and bring the world a little closer, one word at a time. And now, I'd love to hear from you. Have you had experiences where language learning shaped your perspective, sparked new insights? or connected you to new cultures. Share your stories in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey into the power of language, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. There's so much more to discover together, so let's keep exploring.